Hi everyone, in this part, we're going to show you how to configure your disassembler. It can be Ghidra or Ida. Let's get started. In this course, we're going to mainly use Ghidra, which has both a disassembler and a decompiler. And to be fair, it's the best alternative to Ida Pro being like free alternative because it has a decompiler on top of a disassembler, all that being free. The decompiler is not as good as Ida Pro because it actually requires a lot more manual work when you are actually reverse engineering, but it's still better than not having any compiler at all. So we already installed Ghidra when we initially configured the virtual machine. So Ghidra has this concept of project. When you create a project, you can have several binaries you want to reverse engineer or analyze inside that project. And so for a given project, Ghidra will let you use tools on the actual binaries. And so one of them is called the code brother. And this is the main tool we're going to use on binaries. When we analyze binaries, you can either open the binaries into different code brothers or into the same co code brother. We'll see later that when we use RedSync, we actually want all the binaries to be open in the same code brother. So so if you get an actual archive project, you can open Ghidra and then import the archive project. It will actually create one project file .gpr along with a dictionary .rep. And the dictionary contains all the project files. This dictionary will be useful when we add the RedSync plugin because we're going to have to create files inside that folder. So this is what Ghidra looks like. We can see on the left the disassembler and on the right the decompiler. There are interesting shortcuts, Control b and Control d that allow you to show existing bookmarks and create new bookmarks. For the project we generally give you, we'll have created some bookmarks so you can easily find things. And at the bottom you see on the screenshot the bookmark tab and you see that the one on the top has been created by us and you can actually sort all the bookmarks by category and the one that don't have any category are the custom ones. The last shortcut that is useful is the red sync extension. In order to start that extension, you would use Alt S. These are a couple of Ghidra tricks we want to configure on Ghidra that we'll show you in a minute. One of them is to actually change the decimal numbers into hexadecimal numbers. Another one is to actually highlight similar symbols into the window with just left click. Another one is to replace the names by registers. And the last one is to actually hide bytes into the listing window. If you don't want to use Ghidra and you prefer using Ida Pro, um, we don't provide an, an actual project for Ghidra, but you can feel free to port the Ghidra annotations to Ida. We recommend using it only if you have a decompiler, either using the licensed Ida Pro or using the free version with the online decompiler. So in the debugger VM, you should have Ghidra installed into tools Ghidra with the version. If you double click on Ghidra run.bat, it will start Ghidra. By default, it will show you this window. You see there is no open project at the moment. You should have been provided the Hello World Ghidra project. It's an archive project at the moment. We're going to go into File, Restore Project, and then look for the archive file. We're going to name our project Hello World. We see it created a Ghidra project file as well as a .rep folder with the actual Ghidra project information. We also see that three binaries are part of the project. This is the code brother one, so we can either open it by clicking on this or on an actual binary. Let's open kernelbase.dll. We double click on kernelbase.dll. We can see the disassembler window as well as the decompiler window. Since we're not in a function, nothing is shown into the decompiler window. So in the window, we see bookmark. We can use Ctrl B to open the bookmark tab. At the bottom, we see the bookmark tab. And if we click on category, we see that one of them doesn't have anything. It's an actual bookmark we created. We see it corresponds to the write file function. There are a few things I don't like 
in Gitra by default. For instance, if we click on H file, I'd like all the references of the same variable to be highlighted automatically. It's not the case. Also, I don't necessarily need to see the bytes on the disassembler window by default. And the last thing is the registers in the disassembly window are actually named to the actual variable and I find it hard to read. So to change all the defaults, I go into edit tool options. Then I go into editors, structure editors. I can change, show the numbers in hexadecimal in order to change that from decimal. Then I go into listing fields, cursor text highlights, and I change the mouse button to activate to left. Finally, I go into operand fields and I untick markup register variables references. Then I save it. As you can see, the registers are now shown instead of the actual variable name. Also, if I click on H file, all the references are shown. The last thing I want to do is I want to remove all the bytes that are present here. So to do so, I go into the disassembler window and I click edit the listing fields. As you can see, the address is this, the bytes are this, and the mnemonics is this one. So what I want to do is I want to remove the bytes. So I right click on bytes and then disable field. And then I don't see the bytes anymore. Okay, we're good to go.